Hey guys, welcome back. King back here playing our owner mode with the Oakland A's in MVP Baseball 2005. Uh, our team's doing pretty damn good results-wise. Playing-wise, we're first in the division. Financially-wise, it doesn't look good on paper. We're minus 10 million right now expected net um, income this year. However, I'm not worried about that. We will be making money this year, especially if this team goes to playoffs. Uh, we got a home game against the Phillies right now. Last video we went through, we made a few tweaks. I think the only tweak we actually made was we put Cruz into the starting lineup, took Danny Heron out into a long relief role, and as we know, our bullpen's been doing great. They're all under 4 ERA. Dotel's been saving games for us. Batting-wise, we're doing okay. I think Nick Swisher's the one guy that we were looking at replacing. Still not fully sure. He's a top 100 prospect, so he could pan out still. Could, could really improve in the offseason. Uh, let's let's just take a look at the schedule. Yeah, there's one game left against the Phillies. Then we have a little road road series out in Seattle. Then we're back in Oakland to play the Giants, and then Seattle comes to visit us, and then the Sox. So we got a big homestand coming up here, which is good for the bank account. Looking forward to that. So let's get through this game here. But first, what's our ticket pricing looking like? Seventy-one. Yeah, that's fine. Um, who's on the mound? Cruz is getting the start, and they got Cole Hamels going to the mound. Hamels, 21 years old, top 100 prospect. I think in the original roster, his name's like Ole um, Uttelson or something like that. Alright, so we got a few tired boys back here, but we can't really replace him with anyone. We could have thrown Keith Ginter in. He's a second baseman. Let's DH Hatterberg. Ginter can go in there. Right field, we will put Rusty in, and then shortstop will have to wait. There we go. Let's sim it. And boys, if you've been enjoying the series so far, would really appreciate if you guys drop a sub, click that like button on the video. Uh, we just made 620k that game. Cruz. Great appearance in his first start of the year. Gave up five walks, had three strikeouts, only gave up four hits, and no earned runs. So that's what we're looking for. The bats picked him up. Dotel closed out it, closed out the game for us. And the A's are rolling right now, baby. Making money, winning games. There's no better combo right now. Let's delete all those. Who's upset? Malhus? Yeah, I know that. He's on the trade block. Like, it's not really helping. Hatterberg's has to stay on there. Thomas, you're terrible. All right, so we've got Seattle. A's are ranked fifth right now. That's pretty damn good. Seattle is 13th. We are 4-1 and one against them. Started off 4-0, and oh, then we dropped our last game to them. Uh, we got Ryan Franklin coming to the mound. They got a great team, though. Ichiro's always a... He's always a threat in this game. So that's the away series. Let's sim up to the home game against San Francisco. Sarlus is back. So is he starting? I can't. I think he was starting, but we got Dan Meyer up here who's starting. ERA of a 238. So he's doing pretty damn good. Cruz did great in that first start. So honestly, I don't really want to change anything there. The only problem is that their stamina's are very low. But that's where Heron and Sarlus will most likely be getting some playing time coming in in a long relief situation to help them out. So we got San Francisco coming in here. Our last game against the Phillies, the impact was a 5, and we were selling out at 81%. I think we just won a bunch of games in Seattle there, so... Honestly, game impact of a 7. I wouldn't mind... Yeah, maybe we bump it up to 55-30, and we'll see where that takes us. Income statement still minus 9.9 .9 now, slowly knocking that number down. Uh, the game impact of a 7 will be a good... Good test, though, to see how much we can actually charge for it. We are going to have to sub a few guys in here, though. Uh, we don't have a backup infielder, which is bugging me here. No, we don't want to swap. I hit position by accident there. Hatterberg's there. Ginter has to go in at short for us. Uh, first base, yeah, I guess we should be putting Hatterberg in at first. Uh, who else? Chavez is getting tired. Who who can play third here? Who are we going to place at third is more of the question. Rusty's going to go and play some third base. And then Thomas is going to DH. Durazo can get a break. There we go. Sorry, Cruz. We're not giving you much of a lineup to work with here. 
But yeah, he gave up four runs. If he just kept the runs low, we would have been okay. But look, look at that income. 716k. Let's go. Although I don't think tickets would have sold that well. Yeah, like only 77%, 68%. So let's knock the upper deck down to 25 bucks. We'll keep the lower deck at 55. That was pretty damn good. 512k made that game. And just like that, our sheet, we're now only minus 9.4. So see, we were minus 9.9 .9 before. Now we're only 9.4. So we made 500k there up on the net income. Year long as we get into the like, September time frame with more higher game I impacts, we will be absolutely fine. Uh, so let's go into the next one here. Let's just make sure everyone's somewhat rested. Swisher's getting tired. Let's bring Rusty in there. Second base is getting tired as well. But I think Ginter's down to an 86 already. Yeah, his durability is only a 70. We definitely need to get a depth infielder. We we need to improve our bench the most, I think, in this trade deadline. Ugh. Bad loss, boys. Gave it up in the top of the ninth. Only 676k made that game. Down from our 712 last game. Probably because our upper bowl... Prices were down. Yeah, we sure we sold more 77%, but our revenue was down. So let's take a look at the trends. Yeah, total revenue, we made less. The merchandise and the concession sales didn't really do much difference, even with more people in the park. So we'll bump that back up. Um, ticket sales are a king, though. Like, that's where all of our money's coming from. The concession and the store venues, they're not making enough to make a difference just yet. Meyer, yes. Ginter, okay, let's swap you with Scudero, and then Scudero's coming out, Hatterberg's going in the bat, what's his, oh, his average is .09, yeah, like, our, our bench bats just aren't doing it for us so far this year, we don't have anyone to back up on the infield, Ugh, and we're dropping games here, 703k made, but we're losing to the Giants right now, not, not good, that series is now done. Rigo Beltran is pretty unhappy about his contract. You're 35 years old, my guy. You're not getting a new deal. I'm sorry. He's probably going to retire in the next two to three years. Not in our long-term plans, unfortunately. All right, so we do have an off date. We got swept by the Giants there, though. 3-0. and Damn. Let's move up here now. The Seattle. Oh, that game impacts an 8. Oh, that's huge. Okay. I think is, is Seattle's in our division, no? Yeah. We're with the Angels, Seattle, and Texas. Seattle's two and a half games back on us right now. Uh, after those losses, though, it might be time to evaluate the trade market for a few of our guys. Mark Cotzier, Kendall, Durazo, Chavez. Um... Ginter's at 303, Burns 283, 336 for Crosby. Yeah, see, like, the only guy who's not batting well right now is Swisher. And he's a top 100 prospect. I think he might carry some value in a trade. He's still somewhat young. Uh, his on-base percentage is not great. It's only 310. Screwed row, 370, almost 400 there. Yeah, the on-base percentage is 350. Slugging percentage I'm also looking at here, trying to... Yeah, like, Swisher's slugging is only 306. Not very good compared to the rest of the team. And as I said, our only bat off the bench right now is Rusty. Uh, Hatterberg's batting 071, and Mel Hughes is batting 104. So, we definitely need a new catcher. But we have, what's his name, Jackson here. Thomas Jackson. He is very good. He's going to develop... Potentially become one of the best catchers in the league. He has all the makings of a great power hitter. This guy is good. So, do we call him up now and give him some time behind Kendall? Because Kendall's durability, sure, it's an 80, but he's turning 31. He can also play the outfield, which is kind of crazy for a catcher. But, so I'm wondering if we move Mel Hughes. You know, he's great against right. He's 73, 74, but it's not showing up in his batting average right now. We can move him, and then, like, a crazy thought is we could move Jackson to catching Kendall out into right field, move Swisher, but then who are we moving Swisher for, you know? Scooter was 29, 
29 there, 29, 27, 30, 31. Like, our team isn't young right now, but we're not old. Like, this is definitely a win-now team, I think, with the A's. And then, as our older guys get older, we'll slowly have to sell them off and try to rebuild. Um, so I'm not sure if we do a rebuild now. No, there's no point in doing a rebuild now and trying to acquire younger pieces. Let's go look at who's available on the trade blocks. Because I wouldn't mind going out and getting like an absolute ace, like a good pitcher of some sort. Or if we need a vet guy like a Tony Wo Womack to come in on off the bench for us. Terrible fielding, but he's got he's got some wheels. And he's got a bat. He's got some good contact. So he could come in DH for us. He could be our backup second baseman shortstop. Uh, I know we looked at Aaron Miles last video. He's okay. But like a lot of these guys are younger, like we, we already know Brassardi gets good. We already know Baco gets good. They were nasty for us in our J series. Uh, who do we have? Yeah, like we got Justin Smoke coming up here. Uh, we got Ginter and Scudero. Wagner, is he any good? Should see some time in this show to become a starter. Yeah, he's not great. And then these guys aren't going to be anything special so maybe we need to get a future second baseman i wouldn't mind um strong ball player okay jones looks to be pretty good gant is also pretty good we signed him let's fix that up uh grace Quee, yeah we have him in the minors now even though he was up cliff pennington's available as well Outstanding middle infielders. Yeah, both these guys are going to be good. Uh, Pennington. Wonder if we bring him up now to be our depth guy that we need. Although Grace Queen's a, a situational player, maybe we just bring him back up. Question is, who is going to go down? Like Ginter's not very good overall wise, but he's batting 303 for us. The guy's got a bat against lefties. Uh, Thomas is pretty bad. Yeah, you know what? Let's send Thomas down. Let's bring Grace Quee back up. Because then we have Rusty Eyes. Uh, the fact that his second position is nothing just bothers me. We're going to update that for him. I want him to be an outfielder anywhere. Where is he? There's Rusty. Because, like, come on. If you're playing center, you can easily play right and left field as well. Outfielder. There we go. Keeps him the same, just adds that, and he can go in there and play the outfield. Game won't think that he's out of position. Then won't 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 hurt us. Gray Squee can also play second. We can throw him over to third if needed. Ginter's a utility guy. Okay, that's good. I think Hatterberg can play third. No, he can catch. It's Mel who's who can play third. This team's got some weird secondary p positional players. Okay, sorry, so Seattle's an 8. We need to update our ticket pricing, I think. Uh, honestly, we got swept by the Giants. We're not doing too hot. Let's keep the ticket pricing as is and see if we can sell more. If we can sell out, that's even better. Throwing Barry Zito on the mound. Everyone's fully rested. Come on, Zito. Yeah, you should... Oh, come on, the bats are dying on us here. 815k. It's good from a dollar amount, but from a playing point... Yeah, we're almost losing our AL West lead here. Pablo, yes, I know I just called you back up. You will get some playing time. Just settle down. 87% sold, 81% sold. Yeah, that was great. We'll keep that going. That brings our expected net income to minus 7.2 million. So just like that, we're already into the sevens, and it's only June. By the time the fall comes, we're going to be golden here. Uh, Harden... 412 ERA. Don't like that on them. Come on, boys. Ah, our bats are dying on us here. Picture of the week. Okay, great. Hmm. What to do? What to do? What is our lineup saying? Mark Kotze is not too happy. Kendall's not happy. Durazo's doing well. Chavez's doing well. Ginter's average is coming down a bit. I think we got off to a really hot start, and now everyone's kind of coming back down to earth here, unfortunately. Everyone's pretty mad, too, because we've dropped a lot of games in a row now, I think. What's our streak here? One, two, three, four, five games straight, boys. Come on. 
Let's turn this around now. Let's let's find a win here. Cruise, yeah, come on, Cruise, you, you can do this for us. We'll manage this game. Try and try and ma manufacture a few runs in here. Hopefully, the bats just aren't seeming to do it though for us here. I'm trying to think who we move though, because we got a lot of talent on this roster still. Raul Abanez. Oh, and Beltre then takes Cruz deep. All right. Uh, let's bring in Sarlus. Give him a chance to do something. Okay, a little hit and run action here. Move Scooter over. Attaboy Kendall scores him. All right, so that's one run. And they just got that run right back. Come on, boys. Do something here. This ain't looking good, boys. Now we're into the ninth inning here, down 6-2. Another loss incoming, it looks like, unless the boys can get the bats going here. Attaboy Swisher. Oh, they brought in their closer, Eddie. Guardado. He's nasty. 6-3 L. 856K made, though, that game. So, again, from a dollar's standpoint, we're doing okay. We're making money. On The on-field product is really starting to lack now, though. Andy Bako. Baker would be great to get again, but we already know how he pans out. Reed Durham, no. Mercer's complaining about his individual performance. Yeah, you're terrible now, buddy. You were doing so well at first. We're going to throw you on the block if you're making problems about it. Justin Smoke is tearing up the diamond. Yes, and he's a first baseman. So he is our future first baseman here, which is good to know. So first base we're fine for because... Smoke's, what, 19, it said there. Durazo's 30. So by the time Smoke's ready to go when he's 20, 21, Durazo, 32, 33, can easily transition to a DH role as his secondary position. Like, his stats are still good batting. I don't expect him to regress that much. Um, his fielding's terrible, though. That may be... Do we just bring Smoke up now and say, screw it? He's got great fielding. His contact's okay. Honestly, maybe we bring Smoke up just to shake things around here. His overall is just not that good, though. Uh, Hatteberg would be going down, most likely. Because he's pretty bad. Honestly, no. Let, let's keep Smoke down there for now. Let him develop. Don't, we don't want to stunt his growth. Because if we bring him up, I've had it in the past where you bring guys up too early, you sit him on the bench, and then they just don't grow. So, honestly, mm, I'm almost debating if we go and get a rental. Like, Anthony Fries from Boston. He's a good batter. He's not good fielding, though. I was wondering if we can go out and get, like, a big first base, power-hitting first baseman who's on, like, a one-year deal. Richie Sexton? No, he's not good fielding, though. Too many options here to do with this squad. I don't know where, what direction we want to go. Like, Durazo's doing well. Ginter's also... Uh, Ginter's not doing great now, batting DH. He's been in a slump. His average has come way down. Let's keep on simming here and just see where it takes us. Because we are, what, we're into July now. All-Star voting. Uh, Kendall's falling out. Durazo's falling off. Chavez is still up there. Crosby's barely up there. A lot of our guys have fallen off here. Also playing the White Sox now. 93%, that was good. Let's knock it down by 10 bucks here each. We should be close to selling out, though, at that price, I would think, for a game impact of a 5. Blatton, um, Kendall, yeah, let's sub Mel in. Give him another chance to bat here. Damn. Okay, there we go. Bats are, bats are coming alive. There we go. We snapped the losing streak. Made 512k that game. At least we're back in the win column, which is good. How did the sales go? 66. Oh, okay, let's drop that down one more one more click. So it's 40 and 20. And let's see how that makes out. Uh, Grease Quee, we're going to throw him in there. Rusty can go in for Swisher. Meyer on the mound. Oh, out of boy, Meyer. Let's go. one nothing win. Eight strikeouts, only one walk. Made under 500k, though, unfortunately. 
So ticket prices will be going back up in next game. It's also the end of the series with them. So, so normally I find you get more people out to the end of a series. Bank's looking good too right now. Um, and Meyer's doing much better than I expected for a top prospect too. So I'm happy with his development. Hopefully he can grow a shit ton in the offseason and become our future ace. Uh, Garcia's got to go up. Mercer's got to go down there. Dotel, 17 saves out of boy. Just got to want to maintain checking in on these guys' batting averages. See who's doing well still. Swisher's up to a 242, which is good. Um, Eric Burns, he's a good depth guy, I find. To have, like, a good backup outfielder but not an everyday guy, you know? Like, I feel like there's better everyday guys. Crosby's having an all-star caliber season, so we can't change him out. Scudero, again, Scudero's a good backup guy as well. I find good fielding, decent speed. He's got a good bat. He's all in the 70s, but if we, I think we can probably upgrade it. Um, Grace Quee, not doing great. Chavez is a starter. is a starter. Kendall's a starter. Mark Kotze, he's a starter as well. You can't, you can't be putting him on the bench, especially at five and a half million. So yeah, you know what? We might be looking to upgrade our corner outfield or our second base right now. So maybe let's go take a little look. Just going to go through the teams and see who's available. BJ Upton would be a very big upgrade. I don't know if we can move him over to second though. I don't know if he would want that. Michael Young, infielder. Young would be a great addition to the squad. We could easily play him at second. I think I did this in Toronto too. I think I had Michael Young for a bit. He's a he's a decent guy. He's got a good bat, good great contact. Uh, shortstop, like compared to Crosby, he's probably better than Crosby to be honest with you. But like we don't want to move Crosby out. Crosby's having a great year so far. Uh, anyone in Toronto that we would be interested in? Rios, I wouldn't mind bringing him over. He always gets pretty damn good. Um, our current right fielder is Swisher, so that would be... Oh, that's pretty comparable, too, I think. Where Where is Swisher at? Because he's also 24 years old. Uh, fielding Swisher's better. Batting-wise, though, Rios has got a better contact bat on him. Career games, Rios is more experienced. And like batting wise, Rios is much better this year. He's batting 303. Yeah, honestly, I wouldn't mind making that trade. Rios for Swisher. Straight up, I think they, I, I don't know if they would take it or not. Because Swisher's a top 100 prospect. Um, Orlando Hudson, he's batting 337 this year. What the hell? That's amazing. The O Dog. Um. Scudero, like, comparatively, they're pretty similar. It would just be nice to be able to move. Honestly, we could probably platoon them. Have O-Dog face right-handed pitching. Have Scudero face left-handed pitching. Have them on the bench. Can switch them in and out. That would be ideal. Rios and Nick, Rios and Hudson for Nick Swisher. That would probably wouldn't go through. Yeah, no, it's not going to go through. Unless we can add someone, some depth of some sort, like this guy. I'm really hoping the top 100 prospect. Oh, there we go. Swisher's top 100 prospect did pull enough weight. We added in Jack Cuss to, he has no future here at first. And we just picked up Alex Rios and Orlando Hudson from the Toronto Blue Jays. Alright, so that's a big trade, I, I, I would say. Let's bring Rios up. And we're going to bring O-Dog up. O-Dog's coming up for who, though? I forgot that we have Ginter as well right now. Probably have to send a pitcher down, I would say. Mercer's been doing pretty bad now. He's our worst guy in the pen. So let's send him down. O-Dog comes up. So right field, Rios. Yep. Yeah. Just do that across the board for now. And now, 
second baseman Scudro is better against lefties. So let's throw O Dog in against the righties. And then lefties will be Scudero. Ginter is also good against lefties. But against righties, he's not that good. He's a 60 and a 63. Who? So righties, Scudero could DH. He's got a 72 contact. Malhus is pretty good, though. Rusty. Uh, I wouldn't mind getting Rusty some ABs, to be honest with you. He's got some good power on him. But let's move him down in the lineup. O-Dog can stay down there as the 9 guy. Rios is going in as our 5th guy. Which is fine. Now let's move Rios up in that lineup. This lineup, Rios is playing once against lefties. He's fine down there, I think. Scudero can stay down there. Alright. Yeah, we'll, we'll roll with that for now. And see if that in, like helps our team out. Or not. Bunch, we are ranked 12th now. Batting's third, fielding's eighth. Running speed is first. It's our pitching right now, which is ranked 27th. So if we're doing any future moves, I think, yeah, maybe if we can bundle Heron and Sarlu's for a better starter, and then we can always demote Cruz probably back to be a long reliever. Or if we need another relief arm, we go and get it. All right, so there's a trade that we just did. First trade with Oakland. Of course, it's with the Jays, a team that we know, players that we know who are coming in. Uh, Scudero. Yeah, you know what? We'll throw O-Dog in. Scudero's getting a little tired there. It's good to have O-Dog in there, too, because now if guys are getting tired, we can swap them in and out, different guys playing different positions. How do I beat, beat Burley in the White Sox? Zito made 600K that game. Amazing, boys. Amazing. All right, and of course, we're playing the Blue Jays next. I think we're in Toronto for this series, though, right? Yeah, we are in Toronto. Just did a recent trade. They have Nick Swisher now, so they actually might be doing half decent with him. Knowing how we make trades, he's probably going to become pretty damn good for them. But that's all right. We got Rios. I want to... Maybe we look at signing Rios long-term here quickly. Just to let him know, like, hey, we want you here. 300k he wants to go up to 700k for two years yeah you know what we're gonna sign him now he gets he's very pleased with that so that's good because i think our team chemistry is pretty low and honestly guys are going to be mad that we're signing other guys so maybe we should try and cheer the team up a little bit burns ah, he's 29 i don't love him i don't think i want to get him going Crosby's having a great season. He's only 25, too. And he, like, come on, from 300K to 500K, a 200K bump? Absolutely. We'll do, we'll do that for him. Uh, so he's very happy. O-Dog, Scudero. What does O-Dog want? He wants to go up to 500K every day. Honestly, who else do we have at second? We have this Fawcett guy who isn't great. So I'm thinking O-Dog might be our long-term starter here for two years. Yeah, why not? Get him happy. Scudero, 400k to be situational. Absolutely. There we go. So those guys are now happy. Hatterberg, no, we we got to move you. Oh, we should have tried to package him in that Jays deal. Oh well, that's fine. I don't know if they would have taken him. He's 35 years old, making 1.3 mil. Malhus, how much do you want more? 400k for three years, buddy. You're 33 years old. You're not getting a long-term deal here. There, so we signed, re signed a couple of guys, try to get that team chemistry up, because I think it'll help us with winning ball games too. Te team chemistry does affect the results. Alright, so let's sim through the Jays and the White Sox series, and then we'll get to the All Star game in, De in Detroit. All Star game, let's see what the roster is. All Star voting. Pudge, Tex, Boone, Rodriguez, Renceria, Ran Man Ram, Ichiro, Vlad, Santana, Johnson. There we go. Barry Zito made it. Dotel made it. Good. Anyone on the bench? Chavez is on the bench. Okay. So we sent three guys for our first year. That's pretty damn good. And then, oh, I also wanted to see the yeah, Cy Young race. Joe Blatton's up there at 8, Zito's 4th, and then MVP race Chavez is coming in at ninth right now. So I doubt Chavez will win it, but 
How what kind of seasons is he is he having right now? 311, 52 RBIs, 21 home runs. He's got two stolen bags. Look at this speed demon. He's got great fielding. Yeah, he's a he's a solid third baseman to have. We don't want to don't want to lose him. That's for sure. Okay, not bad, boys. Not bad. We will take that. Banks in at minus 2.94 right now. Income's almost minus five. What's our income statement saying? On pace to only lose 6.2 million now. And normally for a playoff game, you can up the tickets enough to get like almost a million dollars a game, I think. So even if we only have six playoff home games, which might be tough, we'll have to get at least to the second round. We can easily make that money back. So we're okay there. Uh, next game's coming up against the Rangers. They're a 7 out of 10 after the All-Star break. So we'll definitely be up in the ticket pricing on that. And I think that's everything, boys, for now. We'll end the video here. Next video, we'll try and get through the dog days of summer. We are into the end of July, then have all of August. Hopefully, we can get through September as well, but we'll see how it's going. Trade deadline's August the 1st, so we will probably have to make some moves. I think we're going to have to shore up our pitching. Uh, the rotation's doing decent for us right now, but if someone goes down, I don't really want Sarlus or Danny Heron being our options to plug a hole. Plus down here, Bradford, Garcia, and Rincon, like, they're doing good, but again, if one of them goes down hurt, I don't know. We don't really have much down here in the minors. Like, sure, we got Houston Street, who's pretty good. We do have guys putting up numbers, but I don't know if they'll be able to put numbers up at the MLB level. Mike Hawkins gets pretty good too, I think. So we actually might be okay with our bullpen long term. But for this this year and for a playoff series, we might want to go get an aging vet. And I know as soon as you sim past the de um, All Star game, normally there's more guys who co who pop up onto the trade block. Like Jesse Crane would be a good pickup, but as we saw in Toronto, he didn't really pan out for us. Uh, Tadano, same thing. We got him in our Toronto GM. Didn't really do a whole heck of a lot. But then again, that could have been the playing time. Um, Embry's doing good. Oh, only 10 innings pitched. Never mind. DeGene, no. Hatterberg, we have. Mike Stanton, what's he saying? Eh, he's okay. Germano, he's young. 22. Joe Roa, starter. He's 33, though. 15 innings pitched, though, an ERA of 0, 12 strikeouts, 6 walks. Roa might be a low-key decent pickup. What's his, he's only got one year on his contract, so maybe we go after Roa. Uh, Fernando Rodney, he's got some good stuff. Hasn't pitched, though, at all. Yeah, so I think there's definitely options out here. Aaron Fultz, yeah, like, there's, there, there's some pretty good pitching out here that I didn't realize, so... Maybe we go, we target them, we can bring in a few vets, trade off some of our crappier assets down in AAA, because we did have too many players as well on our roster. So try and cut down the number of players we have, get some talent to go on a playoff run, and we'll see how that goes. So thanks for watching, boys. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that sub button, leave a like on the video if you're enjoying the series, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.